Unveiling the mystery. I'm not in the know. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that you might have come across in movies, books, or conversations. I'm not in the know. Understanding such expressions can greatly enrich your English comprehension and conversational skills. So, let's unravel the mystery behind this phrase together. I'm not in the know is an idiomatic expression. At its core, this phrase means someone is not aware of certain information or does not have knowledge about a specific topic or situation. It's commonly used in casual and formal conversations alike. Key components. I'm is a contraction of I am, referring to the speaker. Not indicates negation. In the know is an idiom that means being informed or having knowledge about something. This expression is versatile and can be used in various contexts. Personal conversations. When you're talking to friends or family and they discuss a topic or event you're unfamiliar with, saying, I'm not in the know, can express your lack of information in a nuanced and slightly informal way. Professional settings. In work-related discussions or meetings, if a topic or decision is mentioned that you're unaware of, using this phrase can be a polite and professional way to indicate your need for more information. Social media and online communities. When engaging in discussions or comment sections online, stating, I'm not in the know, can be a way to signal that you're open to learning more about the subject at hand. To better understand how to use this expression, here are some examples. 1. Regarding the new project, I'm a bit out of the loop. Could you fill me in? 2. I saw everyone discussing the recent company merger, but I'm not in the know. What happened? 3. They were talking about a surprise party for Clara, but I'm not in the know. Do you know anything about it? And there you have it. Understanding and using expressions like, I'm not in the know, can add depth to your English conversations and make you sound more like a native speaker. We hope this video has shed some light on this interesting phrase and that you're now more confident in using it. Remember, learning a language is all about discovering new ways to express yourself, so don't be afraid to dive into the nuances of English expressions. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.